Before the video start please drop a like and subscribe to help the channel grow and to reach our 1000 subscriber goal. Um, I got to um, I got to complete one of my bucket list items the other day. I got to shoot with, um, well, I got to work with kind of, I guess, my social media version of work um, with Leonardo DiCaprio, which really? is re really, yeah. What do you mean? You didn't see that? <laughs> no way. You didn't, you, well, you didn't hear me talking about it the last <laughs> fucking three weeks. Um, well, we did something for voting. Um, uh, go vote. Actually, I don't know when this fucking podcast will be out. Probably tomorrow. Vote. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go vote. Um, but yeah, we, we did uh, a thing for voting. We're doing like a, um, you can come basically hang out with me and meet Leo. And it's like this big fun thing. Um, and it was, it was really cool. We got well, to go to what Leo. What happened? What was the first thing he said to you? I met him a while ago. Okay. I met him like, oh, so, so th this is how it happened. Uh, another a celebrity of my, like now I can talk about the story because I've always been holding this. But another celebrity friend of mine like called me one day and he's like, hey, I'd like you to meet one of my friends. And I was like okay, cool. I was like, it's probably his little sister. Like he probably wants me to say hi to his little sister or his niece or something. Yeah. And then he gives the phone to his friend and he goes, Hey David, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. And I go, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, hi. And, and as, and then he like, and then he, he starts talking to me about something and like, I put myself on mute and I run into the office and Jay, I think you were there. Yeah. Yeah. And I run into the office and there's yeah. like three or four of you there. This was months ago. This is like a year ago, maybe. Yeah. And I run into the office and as, as he's talking, I go, Leo DiCaprio's on the fucking phone with yeah. me. And Jason goes, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and and then we're just listening to Leo talk for like two seconds and then bring it back because i didn't want to like be weird and sitting around this campfire of leo's voice <laughs> um yeah and then um and then i and then i saw him at a party yeah. um like uh, a couple months later and i and i was like fuck it i'm gonna walk up to him and i walked up to him i said hello he fucking said hello to me i was like what the fuck this is crazy this dude knows who i am like i get to walk up to fucking dicaprio <laughs> and then fast forward a couple months um we want to do something around voting um and i thought this was like a perfect thing to do like some sort of like giveaway aspect where you can meet leo because i think that'd be the coolest fucking thing um and we got it done and natalie and i went over there the other day we went to go take the picture <laughs> and we were so fucking nervous <laughs> the uh, whole were, ride there yeah, david like and a, i were like oh my god like, like just like when like i a, get nervous it, i start being like ooh, like i started yeah. singing weird it was shit. like a 40 minute car car <laughs> so ride funny. and like and, uh, at, at, at yeah at some point at one point natalie was like i just don't get the whole space thing like i'm really oh, thinking, yeah, and, I, and I literally went nelly shut the fuck up shut the fuck up we're going to see the biggest fucking celebrity in the entire world and i just shut the fuck up i was so stressed out i was so scared and natalie was like right right i'm sorry like we were all on the same page about how scary it was and we were just like please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the bell notification to get notified about new posts and to help the channel grow we're like and the best part is when you're when you're i've done this with like 30 different celebrities that i've gone to visit like every time i'm going to drive up to one i'm like imagine like imagine he goes hey we're going to peru right now you want to get on our yacht <laughs> yeah. and like i run through all these stories on like how this can possibly go and i, I was telling natalie i'm like i can't leave the country because i'm daca but i was like natalie if he like fucking asks us to go to like fucking uh you know belize right now or like <laughs> fucking we we should go right we'll get on the plane we'll deal with the immigration stuff later <laughs> and, and natalie was like i mean yeah I guess yeah Leo asked like we should leave the country and like we were going through all these fucking scenarios in our head we were like yeah 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 and it was just like we were so fucking nervous and then we got there and it was like dude it's just like it's, it's crazy like when that like the second you get to hang out with the celebrity and that like that wall breaks or like that tension breaks like he opened the door for us and his dog got out <laughs> and so he had to go chase his dog <laughs> like, like and that's where you go oh my god yeah, this is fucking he's real. it's the guy from the titanic yeah. and this is the wolf of wall street but he's fucking he's here at his house just fucking chilling like and he's the fucking nicest guy he's so nice yeah he's, when we when we first pulled up we heard like kids run like screaming from like the house like yelling or playing whatever and we we're like uh are we at the right house because we like just didn't anticipate that yeah. and like he had like family over and like a bunch of little kids yeah, was, the dogs were out like it was a whole like, yeah it was just, just like expected, but it, it was, it was just so crazy and we were just like i can't believe we're just like the guy that's fucking in Titanic, Jan Django Unchained, The Revenant, Wolf of Wall Street, like fucking <laughs> yeah. Inception. We're just fucking right here, just hanging out with him. It was so bizarre. And he was, I don't know, I, I, I'm i I'm not just bullshitting, but he was just so nice. And his girlfriend was so sweet. Was he joking around with you and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was really, because we were trying to take this fucking picture and we were so bad at it because we couldn't find the right lighting. Because right. there were shadows everywhere because it was like the worst time. And we just we went all around the house trying to take this picture, and then we ended up at the same spot where we first took the picture. Um, no, it was really fun. He's it was the best. So I'm glad I got to do that. Um, and a lot of people, it's it's actually 
The campaign's doing really well, so it's exciting. Obviously, it's fucking Leo. Are you doing Inception 2 with him? or? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm doing, I'm going to do The Revenant 2. I'm okay, the bear. Okay, you're doing, is that why you have a beard? <laughs> yeah, I'm growing out my beard. I can to, see, it's really big now. To play the beard. And, Got big quick. Yeah, it's going to be nice. <laughs> That's crazy, so you're going to have to like go and live in the woods for a while. For yeah, eight months, eight months, yeah. They want me to get there four months ahead of time. Just so four can, months before the crew. Four months before the yeah. crew. Just to kind of figure it out on my own. You think you could do something like that? Uh, the movie like The Revenant? Yeah. Fuck no. You don't think so? Fuck no. If someone said to you, David, we're going to give you this Oscar winning script. All we need you to do is like gain, you know, 100 pounds and live in the woods. Oh, the, well, yeah. I mean, Did you do I, that? Did you go method on it? Yeah. If it's like an Oscar award, like if I know it's going to win an Oscar. Yeah. Fuck yeah, and if they're confident that my involvement in it would also like do it justice, then hundred yeah. percent. Like I'll live wherever. Like for like to make anything entertaining, I would fucking do anything. Um, but like I just don't think I would do a movie justice, especially of where I'm in the wilderness for <laughs> <laughs> eight months. Oh yeah, you don't sure. like nature. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it is what it is. Did Leo ask about your friend Todd? Yeah, he said, "Dude, I love the vlogs, especially that guy Todd." Really? Yeah. He, well, well, he didn't ask specifically about Todd, but he was like, "Who wrote Natalina?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Todd. He was like, wait, like, right, you're Todd, Todd. <laughs> what else, Who else did he ask about from Vlog Squad? You, 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 you. He was like, you did he say he was the cute Jewish boy that's in one out of every 900 videos? <laughs> that's the only thing he didn't mention. Did he ask to be in Clutter Banks? <laughs> Come on, I know he asked about it. He's, he's taking a, a pause right now from production, <laughs> but I know he'll be back to do yours. You just got to let him know we're like running gun, we're guerrilla warfare. We don't need a, I think we don't need like a crew. That. I was with Wyatt the other night, and Charlie wasn't with us, so we could watch a movie that, like, you know, like a the movies movie. change when Charlie's not around. You know right. what I mean? Like, not whole, Mean Girls. Now yeah, you're, yeah, a whole genre opens up, you know? So I'm like, now you're watching Interstellar. Yeah, exactly. That's what we were choosing between. We were choosing between Interstellar and Inception. Oh, okay. And because, you know, he's like a science kid. He loves science so much. And uh, and I said, you'll, you'll love Inception. Like, you'll just... Wow, he's never fucking seen Inception? No. How old is he? He's 14. A loser. Cause we, we, right. Because all you ever do is, what did you say? Loser? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Did you say loser? <laughs> no. I said, what a blessing that he's watching it with his father. <laughs> so what happened? But he just stopped the movie every, he's such a science nerd that he stopped the movie every 10 minutes. He so, stopped Inception? To, to what? To tell me about it. To tell me his own theories on the dreams and how they could extract the dreams better. It's a two and a half hour movie. It took us four hours to finish. <laughs> Wait, he stopped the movie to put his own twist on yeah, to put what his, was already written in the movie? Yeah, like how they could have like done it another way. Stuff like that. He's like watching. He's like, yeah, this isn't going to work. The synthesizer doesn't add up with the molecular. Yeah. But, oh, wow. He's, oh, wow. He was like filming a reacts video to Inception. He's like he a proper it. nerd, right, Jay? It's it's unreal. It's it's because I, I we're not like that. Marty's not like that. I'm not like that. And Charlie's not like that. Charlie's like fun TikTok. And, girl. What, does he say <laughs> things that are actually smart, or does he just sound like he just found mushrooms? I'm too stupid to know <laughs> if what he's saying is smart or not. You know, I took him to Nick Uhas once. The to scientist, yeah, yeah, the scientist. And, and the, he said that he was super intelligent. Like yeah, he, he said was. he said he had some good theories. I mean, whatever. He broke a glass one night at like twelve o'clock at night, and I got really upset. So then the next day, I, I had a whole night where I just watched Inception with him. Oh, I thought he had a theory on the broken glass. I thought that's where you're going to go into be like, Dad, that's, it's actually not broken. Can I tell you why? Like, I thought I was going to be like that. I would have punched my kid in the face. Yeah, and no. then be like, your nose actually isn't broken. You know why? <laughs> um, that's really interesting. Uh, my favorite theory is, is um, it's not really a theory, but it's like, it's when two things are coming towards each other that they never actually ever touch because mm -hmm. the distance between them is always getting cut in half. So you're, yeah. you're so. It's, like, like Reggie's dream. No, not, but do you know what I mean? Like if your fingers are from here to here, yeah. halfway is here, yeah. halfway is here, halfway is here, and you're always going halfway, so technically they never ever touch because where does that doesn't add up. There's always a half of a number. So how are they touching? <laughs> this is super nerdy, but like your cells are, and you're like your atoms and molecules are made up of things that aren't touching. Like right. the electrons not touching the proton, not touching the neutron, they're all revolving in empty space. 90% of everything is empty space, but we're still like everything's solid. That's what I'm saying. It so makes like, no sense. Isn't that fucking crazy that your fingers are never touching? Like when technically? you, when you touch your fingers together, yeah, that it's just, there's, there's actually space in between everything. I mean, it's, it's crazy that like our, our, I think it's crazier what Mike's saying. Is there space are... between everything yeah. or do, does our math just not add no, up? No, if you zoom in on a fucking atom, nothing is touching. It's all like, it's like a, it's like it's the crazy. solar system. Like the sun is in the middle and all the planets are like not touching. But if you zoomed out, it would look like. This is what I love about this podcast. I mean, 
<laughs> from from fucking from locked doors to open minds. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. You get but you get the best of both worlds here. To squeezing your dick so you don't come to meeting Leonardo DiCaprio. And, well, the question is, are you really squeezing your dick? Because <laughs> there's space between your fingers and your penis. <laughs> 